Hello friends, in the last set of videos, we have learned how to find mean that is average of ungrouped data. That is to find mean of ungrouped data, we calculate sum of all the observations divided by number of observation. As each observation is repeated more than one time, we calculated product of frequency and observation for each observation and sum it up and then divided by sum of frequency that is x bar equal to sigma fi xi divided by sigma fi where i goes from 1 to n so this is what we learned in our earlier video and let us recall the example of ungrouped data that we saw in the earlier video this is the table of salaries of different workers so here x1 is 6000 and f1 is 15 means 15 people earn 6000 rupees per month salary x2 is 5500 and f2 is 8 means 8 people earn 5500 rupees salary so we calculate the product of frequency and salary for each xi that is for each row like 15 into 6000 because 15 people earned 6000 rupees per month so the sum of salaries is 6000 plus 6000 plus 6000 15 times instead of that we did 15 into 6000 same way 8 into 5500 25 into 5000 12 into 8000 we sum all this up and divide it by sum of frequencies that is 15 plus 8 plus 12 25 plus 12 and get the mean x bar this is what we learned in the last video now let us take another example say Aryabhatta school arranges a free medical checkup in every three months to monitor the health of its students. Here is the data for class 8. There is no one below 40 kg. In range 40 to 45 kg, there are 6 students. 45 to 50 kg, 18 students and so on. Heaviest student is actually 64 kg. It's in 60 to 65 kg range. Say we need to find the average weight of the class, that is mean weight of the class. Now this is grouped data. In case of grouped data, what would be the value of xi? Here data is condensed into groups called classes like 40 to 45, 45 to 50 and so on. So we have groups and frequency for each group. For each class interval, we will take a point which would serve as representative of the whole class. It is assumed that the frequency of each class interval is centered around its midpoint. So the midpoint or class mark of each class can be chosen to represent the observations falling in their class. So remember in the earlier video we drew frequency polygon from histogram by joining the class mark. So class mark is upper class limit plus lower class limit divided by 2. Here also we would use the class mark. So class mark for 40 to 45 class is 40 plus 45 by 2 which is equal to 42.5. We add it into the column. 42.5 represents the whole class means x1 equal to 42.5 kg. And we, want, we find the product of frequency f1 and observation x1 which will be equal to 6 into 42.5 which is equal to 255. Same way, x2 equal to class mark of second class, which will be equal to 45 plus 50 by 2, which is equal to 47.5. And we find the product of frequency f2 and observation x2, that will be equal to 18 into 47.5, which is equal to 855. And so on for each row in the table. And then we find sigma fi xi. That is sum of product of frequency and observation. This comes out to be 1975. The sum of frequency that is sigma fi comes to be 6 plus 18 plus 12 plus 3 plus 1 which is equal to 40. So now we can use this formula sum of fi xi divided by sum of fi where i varies from 1 to n. As there are 5 classes here or 5 rows here and equal to 5 in this example. So the mean would be 1975 that is sigma fi xi 
divided by 40 which is sigma fi which will be 49.375 kg that is the mean weight of the class is 49.375 kg this method is called direct method to revise first we find the class mark by obtaining center point for each class like 42.5 is center of 40 to 45 class then we find product of frequency of that class and class mark like 6 into 42.5 which is equal to 255 and then we sum all the products of fi xi that entire column we also calculate sum of all the frequencies that is sigma fi and then we divide sum of fi xi by sum of fi this gives us the mean or x bar there are other methods for finding mean of group data which requires lesser calculation we will see them in the next set of videos till then bye bye